Okay, so what is the alpha test? Uh, now we introduced the alpha test in the overview of the product uh, of the um, product or service development cycle, uh, but we need to go a little bit further into it to, to see how you go about doing it, what um, what information you're trying to get from it, uh, etc. So uh, let's use a, a product example, and it applies equally to a service or idea. Um, so uh, you would take your physical product and and introduce it to a closely uh, identified group, maybe friends and family members immediately, individuals who have some uh, level of vested interest but are still objective enough to give you feedback on the product or service. So you'd introduce it in a controlled environment asking them uh, for uh, feedback on the product. Now generally you're only going to give the information to the, um, to the users of the product uh, necessary to reveal whatever information or feedback you you need from them. Uh, say it's a, a, a product that um, has very little instructions to it or something, you may give it to them without any instructions or any uh, requirements for use, etc. If it's say a technological product that requires an, a minimum amount of introduction as to this is what this is, this is how you use it, etc., etc., you would provide that minimal amount of introduction. Again, you're, you're wanting to put out the information necessary to get feedback or get the results. If you want to see how difficult it is for your uh, customer pool to use your product, you would simply give it to them and sit back and with nothing and then record how difficult it is, what problems they have, uh, what questions they have to um, to effectively use it, what features did they not even realize it had, etc. So um, you would just watch them uh, employing the product so you can understand its functionality and you can get feedback, etc. So you can refine it from there and um, again, uh, make it easier for them to understand, easier for them to use, or more strongly orient it or prioritize the features so it puts up front the greatest value proposition that that uh, individual customer group has for your product or service. So again, um, you're going to need candid feedback from them. You're going to have to give some incentive or um, request for information or feedback because again you have the sociological bias that you don't want to uh, disappoint someone so you may even consider rewarding uh, any type of constructive criticism that they can give you um, any feedback that will allow you to make the critical changes that you believe are necessary uh, there's a number of ways you can do the alpha test you can bring people together in a controlled environment you can let them use it in the comfort of the home uh, of their own home or in the natural environment where they would be uh, testing um, or using the product or service on its own uh, the timing of it you could uh, allow them to do it over a set of an hour you know a short amount of time in a given locale or you can again spread it out and say use it for this period of time uh, any of these characteristics of the test are going to tell you something different about your product or service um, and the longer time period obviously is going to give individuals more time to use and explore it and to give you feedback on different things but again you may want to record information or data from this target customer group uh, at each at each at given intervals throughout the different time period to see exactly how long it uh, takes them to identify some of the key features, how long it takes them to learn how to use these aspects of it, etc. Um, and uh, you're going to record that and again, take whatever data or metrics you can and put that back into the feedback loop and make the necessary changes. You may not make all the changes, but you may be able to identify uh, what aspects a given group uh, valued most highly and then you'll be able to prioritize those characteristics of the product or service. Um, uh, for uh, research and de development and refinement moving forward.